Hello all. Today we are going to see how to use the Java Mail API in order to test our email server. Many a times we need to test the performance of an email server and for that we will be using JMeter and we will be testing the uh, email which has which is being sent from Gmail to Yahoo. So let's start. First of all, the first thing that we need to do is download this jar from this site. It's the mail Java mail jar and uh, once you download it, it will be stored in your downloads folder and then you need to copy it in your lib folder of JMeter. Let me show it to you. It's over here. There you see mail 1.4.7 this is the java mail executable jar file so once you are done with this if you have jmeter on you can just restart jmeter i have already restarted jmeter and after that you need to create the test plan in jmeter so uh, this is my sample test plan that i have created this is the thread group under the test plan. I have currently put number of threads as one, ramp up period as one and loop count as one. Then I have added a SMTP sampler to my test plan. You do that by right clicking on the thread group and add. And in the sampler section, you will find SMTP sampler somewhere over here. Yeah, it's here. This one. Okay. Once you are done with the SMTP sampler, we need to configure the SMTP sampler. The way to do that is this way. Uh, I have filled the entries over here and the name you can give any name, you can put any comments. Now this is the server where you will be sending the email to. It is going to be sent from chobalpinakin at gmail.com to yahoo.com. Now you can find the SMTP details of Yahoo Mail from Google. Just type in SMTP Yahoo Server and you will find it over here. In your personal information, uh, uh, sorry, not in your personal information, you will have to go here and Google. SMTP Yahoo. If you type this, you will get several configurations and then once you click on any of those configurations, you will find the details about the Yahoo server. Here uh, I have opened this site servers smtp.com and smtp-yahoo. So here you will find all the details like the server address is smtp.mail.yahoo.com and the port number is 465 that is what we have mentioned in our test plan smtp sample so uh, smtp.mail.yahoo.com is our server and the port is 465 the address from is gmail account address which we will be sending and the address to is our yahoo account now here you need to specify the yahoo account details pinakin c and then i have provided the password for Yahoo uh, SMTP, you need to use SSL. This information also you will get from the net if you search. And for uh, the further details, the subject line is added over here. Hi from Pinakin. And uh, I can just add the timestamp in the subject. And this is the message. In the message, we can also put the thread number. So let's put that thread number. I have put the thread number in the message body and this is my, uh, this is a message and then I have put the thread number. So this is the way you put thread numbers and it will get populated once it executes for multiple threads. Then I have added a view results tree over here and this view results tree will give the details of every run. Now let's uh, run the test for a single thread and let's see what happens. Ok, 
okay it has started executing okay it completed and it has completed successfully in case if this does not complete successfully you might have a security setup in yahoo that you need to disable now where can you find that security setup it's in your personal information and then go to account security and here you need to change a few details it's loading yeah let me enter the password quickly Uh, I will secure my account later. That's not important as of now. And uh, here, so this is the page you are uh, you will want. And here, this I have enabled. Allow apps that use less secure sign-in. So in case this is disabled, your email might get bounce back saying that the security settings are too high or security settings in place. so you just need to enable this and then run your test again okay now let's see whether we have received the email actually and there you go it's from chobulpinakin@gmail.com hi from pinakin current time stamp is mentioned and this is a message and in that it has put the thread number but uh, the thread number is not getting displayed in the message body let's do one thing let's put it in the let's put it in the message itself message uh, subject now let's run, run our test again and let's verify the results it's clear this let's run it again it's done now let's check our email again and yo yeah. there you go uh somehow this is not working here uh, uh so let's uh, skip that for now this is how you send emails cross account in case you have to send it gmail to gmail then it's even simpler but uh, this is a case where i have sent an email from gmail to my yahoo account and uh, i have shown you steps to enable uh, less secure apps to access your application and i have also explained you how to download the jar uh, this thread num issue uh, i think it is related to my version so i will have a look at it and if i find the solution i will get back in another video thanks so much for watching my video do do subscribe to my channel and keep learning thank you